Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, marital missioner, and welcome to our daily gospel reading and reflection. Today's gospel reading is according to St. John, chapter 12, verses 24 to 26. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates this life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Lawrence, Deacon and Martyr. St. Lawrence was one of the seven deacons that served the early Roman Church during the reign of Emperor Valerian. Soon after the martyrdom of Pope St. Sixtus II, St. Lawrence and four others were also put to death by the orders of the emperor. As a deacon, St. Lawrence was responsible for the distribution of alms to the poor. When he became aware that he will eventually be arrested and tried, like St. Sixtus II, he gave away everything he could, even selling the sacred vessels of the altar to give to the poor, widows, and orphans of Rome. When his persecutors eventually came to him, he was asked to hand over the valuables of the church. He replied that all the blind, lame, orphaned, widowed, maimed, all those who are outcasts of the society are the true treasures of the church. This response enraged his persecutors so much so that St. Lawrence was put to death by being roasted alive. Legend has it that even in the apex of physical pain, St. Lawrence made his famous cheerful remark, This side is well done, now turn me over. It is through the sacrifices of faithful martyrs such as St. Lawrence that like a grain of wheat that died in order to bear much fruit, we, many years later, continue to be the beneficiaries. So let us continue to remember in our prayers all those who have suffered and continue to suffer in order that others may have life. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and holy day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.